Let's go, baby bunnies! Whoa, I'm slip. In today's video, we're gonna find out whether the Moxus Minion DHF 2.5, actually 2.6, can handle a very snowy terrain. As you can tell, it's uh, a lot of snow over here. We've got a lot of people here. I got Moxus Minion DHF. I have them more than one year. They're kind of worn out, but uh, maybe they can handle the snow. So in today's video, we're gonna find out about that. This is Daniel, the baby bunny maker. I don't know what it even means. I don't know why I'm saying that, but uh, let's get that tire to the test, boys. The whole team, Pablo, Diego, Daniel, Alfonso, and John, just us. And this is a test of Maxis Minion Dead Chef. My rear tire is a Maxis Aggressor. And I'm talking about, I'm specifically focusing on the DHF today because it's more worn down than the Aggressor and DHF is more creepy. Aggressor is more like a fast rolling tire. So we're going to be talking about the DHF. Oh no, Daniel, ready? Look, the DHF is creepy like, like a glue, like a gorilla glue. Hey dogs, cute dogs, hey cute dogs, hey cute dogs. The DHF. Hey dogs, hey dog. The Maxis Mini and DHF tire is as grippy as the Gorilla Glue. So don't put Maxis Mini and DHF on your hair. So in terms of climbing, I have no issues right now. This trail is pretty busy. A lot of ski goers here. And also, I took out a little air from the front and the back. So I get a little more grip in the snow because of Pablo in front. That was his advice to lower a lot of air, not too much. Because if you have tubeless, you're gonna leak too much air out. So you gotta steal it again. So that's why I took as much air out as I could get away with before it starts leaking. Hopefully it didn't take out too much. Pablo's rear tire looking really empty from the air, so climbing is good. This is done, her boy. Goddamn boy. In the snow. Alfonso, pedal, okay. No chance here. So although the Moxis Mini and Dead Chef is very grippy and it feels like a glue, like a gorilla glue, so don't put it on the hair. But uh, although that's very grippy, uh, it wasn't enough for me to not sink in that snow. Plus the climb was very punchy and very steep at that section. So no amount of Asagai 3.0 of 2030 will help you if you don't have enough energy to go up that thing. And that thing is crazy, especially in the snow. It's like slow motion four times. So yeah, good luck with that. Oh Jesus! This is the true test of the Maxis Minion Dead Chef 2.6. It's a little worn out, like I said before, but it's still working very well. There's a snow bunny right there. There's a snow bunny right there. Oh. <laughs> Let's go! Oh. Hey everybody! Haha, <laughs> fast everybody! Oh, this is so fun! I may go back again! Round two! Yes, bud. 
happen? Yes, bud! Wow, you smart sketch! Let's go, bunnies! Sutate Taiwan! Yo! Let's go, baby bunnies! comes to grip, Maxus Mini DHF is the second grippiest star on the market behind Asagai. I've never tested Asagai, but from a lot of reviews I heard Asagai is the grippiest star right now, grippier than the Maxus Mini DHF, but uh, Maxus Mini DHF is the second grippiest based on the reviews that I heard, but I think the Maxus Mini DHF is really grippy and I have not tried the Asagai and I could only imagine how good the Asagai is going to be, which is going to be probably my next star. Actually, not probably, definitely my next star is gonna be Maxis Asagai. But this star, Maxis Mini DHF, offers plenty of grip. It's very tacky. It makes you glued to the ground, like Gorilla glue to the hair. You know, don't do that. But uh, yeah, it's a good tire. I liked it. And I'm really thirsty and I wanna eat something. I burn a lot of calories. Uh, this is a bagel nash place. This is a bagel nash from inside. Place is looking really good. We got a lady with a German flag. So this is what I got from Bagel Nash in Kloster. I only spent $4 for this and coffee together. So all the bagel shops by me, I would spend about $7 for the same thing. Apparently Kloster, when it comes to bagels, is cheaper than Morris County in New Jersey. We got a problem over here. I just got caught on the tracks. And this train will be here forever. It's one of those long trains. So let's see how long it's gonna be. You could see the timer in the browser. Probably like two minute long or three minute long. Look at the beautiful cars though. Every car is different. Different shape, different color. Different content inside of the car. Could be gold mines. Could be marbles of silver. <laughs> marbles of silver. Could be condoms, could be Reese's and sneaker bars. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm just saying nothing less. It got a, it got something though. A lot of a lot of stuff. Million dollar trend or probably more than that. So multiple million dollar worth of freaking supplies, whatever they have. UPS. Oh look at that UPS. That's crazy, man. Multiple companies. Oh, it's trailers. A truck. Trailer trucks on top of those cars, it's crazy. Imagine you have a whole car full of bunnies, ready to be delivered, distributed among the owners out here in Jersey. I want a bunny, I want a bunny, I want a bunny, I want a bunny, I want a bunny too, I want a bunny too. Oh, that was not bad. That was not that long of a train. Oh, we got another guy with a camera here doing the same thing like I'm doing. Right, let's go boys, time to wrap it up.